What's up? I'm Jordan Fisher, and I'm hanging with J14. Great. We're just over it. We just are so ready to get married. That's really it. Like we're just we're just over it. So easy enough, right? Uh, we 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 kept the big the big beautiful wedding that we have planned. Big ish, not really not necessarily incredibly large because we never wanted a massive wedding, but we wanted all of the people that we loved most in our lives to be there in Hawaii uh, back in July. We we've kept all of those plans. We're just gonna do it later next year when we know that everybody can actually get there and not have to quarantine for two weeks. Uh, and to enjoy the islands and, and and to be able to just kind of be on vacation, which is ultimately what we want anyway, right? So yeah, we're getting married in November and it's going to be beautiful and intimate and small and sweet. And we'll finally be able to call each other husband and wife and, you know, be able to get started and uh, on, on this chapter of our lives and, you know, planning a family and the whole thing, you know, so... Oh man, I, I adore Sabrina. I've known her for a really long time. We've been in each other's lives for a long time. So um, we never actually worked on anything together fully. Um, so it was a blast to be able to go into that process already having trust and love for one another and respect for one another, um, both artistically and as as humans and as friends and whatnot. So um, that was a blast, man. We we felt like this is a term that we've all kind of used. Liza uses this term. Sabrina uses this term. We We, we felt like we were in a summer camp, really. Like that was kind of it. And at the end of the summer camp, we kind of accidentally made a dance movie. So um, it was so fun. You know, the dance, the dance film genres uh, hasn't really been touched too much in, in the last 10 years. And so to kind of reintroduce that to a new generation is exciting. You tend to always look for partnerships and collaborations um, that are authentic. Right, uh, the ones the ones that truly make sense to you personally, not just because of the paycheck or like wh- how it can elevate you or whatever, but like partnerships and collaborations that you can really be that you are genuinely excited about. And this is very much that for me. I'm a I'm a tech guy. I don't think anybody uh, is unaware of that. I I work in the gaming space and the gaming industry as well, and 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 um, I I follow all of the news outlets that give me updates every day on advancements in technology. That's the thing that I get really excited about is like, what is our future going to look like? Like, when when, when can can I teleport? When can I, you know, that's, that's something that I think we all want. Yeah. If you've seen Iron Man, you know, that's the house I want. I want a Jarvis, you know what I mean? So when can I have a Jarvis? Um, So this, this is very much that for me. I got hit up and, and, and um, learned about really, comprehensively obviously understanding what 5g is supposed to be and how verizon is making that happen we've all like elizabeth said we've all heard the term before you've seen the billboards we've watched the commercials heard the radio spots driving in the car whatever 5g this 5g that what is it actually without talking about 3g 4g lte and blah 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 blah, what does it actually mean and how is that going to affect me in a positive way? How is that going to make an impact on my daily life, whether it be for work or for pleasure? Um, you know, if I'm streaming a video or needing to download a document for work or uh, upload something on on social media platform, like you know, the, the speed and the ease of access where that is concerned is all something that we want. You know, even if you don't know that you want it. You do. We all do. We want to be able to tap something on our phone or device and immediately get it back, right? And so um, there's obviously a lot. Of, I mean, pardon me for being a little geeky. Um, sorry, not sorry. But we all we all want this. And there are so many terms and all the language that is like a, a foreign language to the average consumer, I suppose, unless you work within the tech space or really understand it. So what we're doing here is building content, you know, videos and whatnot to explain to people what what Verizon is doing and how 5G is being built out and and what that means and how that's going to affect your life in real time in a positive way and breaking it down in the easiest, most layman's terms way possible. Um, that's what we've done and that's what what what, what we're going to be, you know, launching with uh, along with Verizon and launching 5G. Mm-hmm.